Hello everybody and welcome to part 19 of my Desert China series. Uh, it's been an interesting series. I lollygagged a little bit and underestimated some of the other civs and as a result we're not nearly as far ahead at this point as we probably should be. But you know what, the competition will probably be uh, beneficial. We have fertilizer up, we have hydro plants up, so our overall tile yields are doing very well. Um, happiness is also doing well, so I don't see a reason to alter this. We'll just uh, keep swimming in the happiness because the uh, fertilizer is going to make it to where Shanghai and Guangzhou are going to actually grow uh, fairly well, I would think. Um, this goes here. Here I'll be just moving the tiles over as they're available. Uh, let's see. Why is he standing here when this could use developing? Is that an oversight on my part? I'm guessing yes. Alright, so... Yeah. We'll keep on cruising. Now that we have fertilizer, the difference between river and not is only going to be with regards to the hydro plant. Losing grasp on Mombasa. That's food everywhere and it's happiness. So that is good to know. Um, iron, iron. So much iron. Well, I mean, if they still want to buy it, I'll still sell it to them. But there will come a point where we'll run out of demand. I already saw Brazil has a musketman. So tedious, but that's how you get the max... What? What is it? Oh, did we not, uh... Oh, okay. I didn't realize he was getting testy. Well, in that case, maybe we can push his buttons and get him to be the one to attack us. Uh, that seems like a good idea. Oh, he's done. Alright. Oh, we got two left. Let's see if we can at least get two for three. No. Okay. Well, let's hold on to him then. I'm not going to outfit him if he's that outraged. And we have a decent enough defensive force, so I'm not afraid to upset him. Ooh, there we go. All right. Nice, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully that gets a denouncement. Ah, yes. Fun for both of us. Oh yeah, that's right. I decided I wasn't going to just hug the coast anymore. we got to get a little uh, creative with our pathing if we're ever going to find anything, you know, good. Beijing. I do like how the passing of eras increases the effectiveness of these things. Alright, Shanghai is at 14, growing 3, 14, Guangzhou, and there are already two trade routes heading to Shanghai. So let's send this one to Guangzhou. Cool, they reinforce each other uh, religiously as well. Okay, where is our borders going to? Five turns there is our best guess. So we can start ripping up the forest there, and maybe we increase the likeliness that it goes there. Uh, no, but I'm glad that people are still showing an interest in... I tried doing that with you. You said no, so, you know, make up your mind. Oh, you know what? I did mean to make open borders with Rome. Uh, one, two, three, that's actually usable to this city. Let's do the river tile first, though. Yeah, because I noticed at the end of the last part he had units trapped here, um, and I don't, I'm not looking to do that. I don't think the uh, AI will interpret that as a jerk move, but, you know, I don't have a reason to do that. Um, seeks a great profit. I mean, we can buy one of those at will, really. 
Whoops, that's not where you find that information. Right. No, we cannot. 500. Oh, it's because we have a uh, civilian in this city already, but we could if we wanted to spend the 500. Alright, so yeah, just deviate from the norm. Cool, the road actually helps. Okay, we will get there. We will get there. Uh, three. Good visibility there. Yeah, we do have open borders, but... Yeah. Alright, so iron is wanted elsewhere. Maybe this way we get full value. Hey, who knows? Maybe maybe we find that the only coal available is in Inca's lands and we have a reason to go after him at that point. Because up until now, it would mostly have been for practicing our units. And that is by no means a bad reason. But uh, we have to balance how much focus we want to put into what we'd otherwise be doing and um, making nice with the world for now. Montezuma has declared war on Gandhi a third time. Declaration of friendship with Brazil has run its course. <sighs> this is a tough call. Because the moment we stop being defend, uh, friends, it gives us messages like, oh, they wanted some wonders, they covered your lands, and... Uh, the thing is, is I would like to make friends with them, just so if we do have to attack the Inca, it's it goes that much better. Um, but on the other hand, I want to not make friends with them, because we're getting to the point now where we're going to start getting uh, military and tax where we could start attacking people if we wanted to. And Brazil is a really good target. Um, we have no way of knowing when he will research dynamite. Um, but the artillery would definitely help in attacking him despite the Great Wall. <sighs> so I don't know. I could see it going both ways. Um, we're about to reveal coal, so let's wait a turn on that and uh, no longer ally of Mombasa. Bogota desires Eiffel Tower. Well, we can do that. We will do that. No longer ally with Mombasa. So our happiness just dipped a good amount. <laughs> oh, we were buying salt, and now we're not. So that's two luxuries we lost over the last turn. Okay. Not the end of the world. So yeah, let's wait one turn, see where the coal is, and make our friendship decisions from then. Because that seems like the one thing that would get me to go to war at this point. Um, two turns until growth... If I t uh, don't want to take off the river, obviously. Okay, still two turns until growth. So there we go. We up our science. That's really good. And we're heading to replaceable parts. And then on into plastics. At which point we will then go into atomic theory, I think. I've never played with nukes before in this game. I mean, what's that like? I've read up on the math, you know, the whole doing 100, 100 damage, uh, two tile radius, all that good stuff. But I'm more curious into, like, if you bomb something and your units are around, how, like, how easy is it to capture? How useful is the city if you've, like, contaminated its lands? Stuff like that. That seems to be where I would be unclear. Uh, I know we're kind of ganging up on Nanjing, but quite frankly, it's got the growth to support it all. So, yep. If the workers got nothing better to do, we might as well con continue that, I think. Himeji Castle has been built. Okay, well that's more faith per turn if we take him. Porcelain Tower is finished. Cool. Industrialization based And industrialization is finished. And a great rider. Holy crap, so much stuff going around this time. Um, the first thing we absolutely have to address before doing anything else is the fact that industrialization has completed. Um, this means we can upgrade to Gatling guns, which is unfortunate, but uh, uh, we can build Big Ben. That's significant. And most importantly, we need coal. It's not showing that we have any in our borders, so that is a real big problem. Nope, we don't have any coal near us. 
Now we could wait to get it from a city state if we can identify city states that have them. But they not only have to have them in their borders, but they also have to develop them. We can't even know for a fact that they can see the coal now if they do have it. So that, um, like hovering over this to see what their resources are, I don't even know if that it would show coal. Because um, it could be that they ha somebody has some and just hasn't found it yet. Here's some coal. Um, if we had a great general, we could drop it here and take it. There's some coal. Okay. I mean, our borders will eventually grow to that point, but we would really want to pile in the culture here. Um, I think that's too slow of a plan. There's some coal. There's some coal. There's some coal. There's some coal. This is probably our best shot that I've seen thus far. Jeez Louise. There's some coal. Well, shucks. Now I wish I had been... Uh, doing some warring and getting a great general we could have the coal right now without having causing anybody else additional grief hmm if we declared war on the Incas oh jeez he's spreading his religion like crazy Okay, it's good to know that that's there. <sighs> okay, so... This is significant. Even before, when I was looking at the possibility of de 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 attacking the Incas, I was looking at Machu as a primary target, because this is the source of his faith. And that great mosque of Jen, holy crap, he's really getting his money's worth out of that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Our religion's getting eaten up from the West... And warring with him wouldn't necessarily stop that at all. We'd have to spend money to, like, flip them and stuff like that. Um, and now he's got so many cities. Okay. I mean, we don't actually have to take any cities. I mean, and so it would be nice if we could goad somebody into attacking us. Because once we have a great general, which, you know, obviously the Chinese are... Uh, get those quicker uh, not only because they're bonus to great general points but the fact that their Chukanus attack twice which you know it gets you even more great general points per turn in theory okay um, taking over Gdansk might not be a bad idea because we are going to want to push east he's our biggest competitor with Rome as a second but Rome's surrounded by other civs that have decent militaries. Gdansk would fall very easily, and we would be able to gut Poland's army on along the way. We've been friendly with him for a while. Friends with China, over in five. Over in five. Okay. We get a new policy in one turn, and we need two policies to get the Freedom Fighters. Uh, the Freedom Fighters aren't important, but if we were to start dumping all of our military into one focus, like say to the west or to Gdansk or something like that, we would definitely want to replenish on the home front to uh, thwart you know, an opportunist attack. Hmm. Okay, so three main options. Get a great general, grab this here, but that requires fighting somewhere. Uh, what is our great general points at? Okay, that's almost exclusively from barbarians, I think. So that's pretty good. It wouldn't take us very long at all. That's worth noting. Um, 
Can I buy Gdansk? Pozdrawiam cię. Słucham? I don't know how the sieves value that kind of thing. I just know anytime I try to sell them. <laughs> okay. So probably our best bet is to actually goad the Inca into attacking us. Our militaries are on par, it says. We just hit industrialization, so we can upgrade all of our ranged units. We have four now, right? Because the crossbowmen. Uh, yes, we have four total. Okay. So we need to start fighting somewhere, either to take land that has coal or to get a great general so we can get some coal of our own. Okay. Well, let me hop up here. We'll start mobilizing these guys, everybody, in fact, towards the Inca. Is there anything we can do to further upset them? I mean, I don't want to denounce them. It would be nice if I could get them to denounce us. Um, how about we grab a great prophet and start spreading religion onto his big cities? That would piss him off something good, right? What? Okay. Alright, so that would be a way to piss him off. So maybe we have a worker start heading over doing some roads. All of our workers are busy, but not so busy that we can't. Yeah, let's get a worker over this way to start building on roads and such. And we can start consolidating our armies. There's that. I'll leave him for southern defense. Not that that would be much defense, really. Uh, let's go up to there and upgrade. He's going to be in borders next turn. Um, they got all this covered. Let's head down here with this guy. In fact, he'll just follow that to go over to the west. What about horsemen? I know we have two. There's one right there, and this one is we're good to go. Um, well, let's have him go out and about, both of them in fact, for the purpose of finding where these missionaries are, so that when and caravans, so when it's go time we can just scoop up as much as we need. As far as workers, there's that. That's good. That's actually better than this. There's, there we go. Um, they had another worker about to finish something. There's that. That might increase the water rate. Ooh, good. Uh, another river farm. Another mountain that doesn't matter. Guangzhou. Okay. Uh, growth in four. Look at that. And that's with working the heavy production tile. So I'm okay with doing that. We actually don't have too many more growth tiles to get into, actually. Um, growth in four. Growth in four. Yeah, let's just do that. Or the gold? No, that's fine. Cool. Shanghai has grown. Okay. Um, likewise, since we are doing so well at growth, maybe this is the time to actually lock into one good production tile. I should have probably done that when we hit chemistry, but this is fine. Alright, Declaration of Friendship with Morocco has run its course. Um, let us re-up that, and we could re-up the one with them as well. Hola. I must decline. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder why that would be. We didn't do anything to instigate that. Is it just because I let it lapse? Because he did too. Oh well, I guess we're not... Mombasa election rigged. Good. Oh, and Bogota election rigged. Bogota and Mombasa. Hey, we got our ally back. That is spectacular. 
Manila recognizes your great prophet. Oh yeah, I just did that too. Okay, I had talked about it. Now friends with Bogota. Yeah, we knew that, and we knew that. And Manila recognizes great prophet. Cool, another ally. Very good. It's nice that our uh, happiness surges right as all this is going on. And what we can do is... No coal there. Uh, that is Mombasa. Where is Zurich? I know where Zurich is. I just didn't feel like manually going over there. Uh, they picked up a good amount of land, but no coal. Um, we checked Mombasa. And then Manila. They do not have coal either. Does Bogota? Bogota does, but... We don't know if it's developed, but... He, okay. This may be the path of least resistance. And here's the thing. I, I meant to mention this off-camera. If you look at our culture per turn, right? And we look at the culture per turn of who is in the lead, okay? Now, who is in the lead has had 23 turns, presumably, to rack up that amount. And quick napkin math, 2,300, that's 100. Uh, that leaves 700 behind. That's about a third. So let's say about a th 133, give or take. And that would be the mean, or the average, however you want to look at it. I'm, I'm not too big on what the differences are. But my point is, is that our difference, you know, the whole we have probably 70, 80 more over seven turns. Uh, that would be a roughly 490 difference. Um, this is going to be a close one, but we might make it. Um, I don't know if there's anything we could do to best it other than actually give these guys money. Um, we are going to build the Eiffel Tower, so that's something. Um, so, yeah, let's give them a gift right now. We got the money. And right now the exchange rate 500 and 1,000 is the same. So let's just play it conservative here. Okay. Now, I don't think this gets us coal right now, but this means when they have coal available, we'll get it. And maybe we get this culture race down, especially now that we got them as an ally, and we get the Eiffel Tower, so maybe we keep them as an ally. Um, so whenever they have coal, we'll get it. So, yeah, I wish I had looked at that before, because that's the easy answer, I think. And this way we don't have to start gearing for war. Or racking up a great general. But that does go to show the importance of getting one going on earlier in the game. I think in the future, if I'm playing a military civ such as China, and I plan on having a peaceful game, I think maybe going to war against the first person I meet and then staying that way um, would be a relatively pain, uh, penalty-free way of avoiding situations like this because we'd be able to go and grab XP for our units at will. We'd be able to generate great generals. Uh, there's almost always going to be uses for great generals. So, uh, yeah, it was a mistake not to pursue that a little bit better earlier. Okay. Tech-wise, we are heading towards uh, this. Replaceable parts. We don't need steam power right now, but faster embark movement would be nice. I'm just thinking in terms of we do have a great scientist here and if we bulb it maybe we get to Statue of Liberty quicker which gets us another policy uh, quicker because like right now one turn we could choose this and then next turn have our I know I keep going back and forth on whether we're going military or not um, the fact that Brazil won't re-up is actually probably a good thing because now that I found that we can get coal that way uh, maybe we just keep relations here dry until we can go. It's interesting that he didn't want to go though. Anyways, we do have a great writer. And I'm going to bulb this one. I, I want to make a great work, but I want to ensure that we win this race. And it looks like it's so close that if they were to bulb a writer, whoever's got the lead, so yeah, let's just do a he do this, and this gets us a policy right now, which is more science, which is great. In two turns, we get to pick another policy. Look at that. Oh, I should have clicked on that to at least view it. 
Okay. This would be a good time to ball riders because of the whole uh, Golden Age and World's Fair reward and stuff. <sighs> okay. Well, um, this just, I wasn't looking at the difference, but this is obviously going to make a difference in our science. So the longer we wait to ball, oh, look at this. I was not expecting to have to go through all that. That's my bad. All right, so let's just click on metallurgy. If we did ball the science test, we can upgrade our to lancer and to rifleman right now. Um, that seems worthwhile. And when is our next great scientist? We just got this one from building porcelain tower. Uh, so when is our next great scientist? Fourteen, eight. Okay, eight turns. Eight turns, really? Okay, so if we bulb the one now, two, three, and then like three into this, and then in eight turns, we'll be bulbing for plastics, mostly. And that seems a really great way to, great thing to use a bulb. Like, we're not so far along in the tree that I think bulbing makes sense, but a couple of opportune bulbs here seems really good. And then, of course, at, by, at the, after that point, we'll be in Bulb City anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, because these two bulbs would get us to plastics, you know, 15 turns earlier, which gets us, you know, research labs. And all of our cities are finally coming around. Like, this is a production powerhouse now. The fact that these are growing so well, we can actually work good production tiles. So we're, we're golden now. Like, I'm comfortable with this. I like this. So let's go ahead and bulb this guy. That gives us metallurgy. And we're not going to get credit for rifling this turn, but it'll it'll all spill over. Um, we sold our horses already, right? Good. There we go. Okay. So our military score is going to grow up significantly, and that's going to keep everybody away from us for a little bit more. I like that. Okay. Big Ben or Eiffel Tower? We do have a quest for Big ben, uh, Eiffel Tower. And it is happiness and tourism. Okay, this would be a good time to go for Eiffel Tower then. Um, I just want to count it out seven turns because here we're actually overflowed by 720 something. So we're going to be overflowed by 1300. What does this cost? 3000. So the difference is going to be about 1800. That'll take us three turns. So we're now looking at four turns total. Um, we'll be done with this. Because all these turn counters are actually skewed by the abundance of uh, science we have right now from having bulbed. So we're looking at uh, four turns through here. Uh, this will cost, at our current rate, almost five turns. So four turns into that, we'll have our great scientist and bulb. So it's just like we were saying before. So we'll actually hit this in about nine, ten maybe 11 turns and I'm only pointing that out because we're gonna wanna be able to fit um, uh, Statue of Liberty in there so that'll be with a great general or er, engineer uh, which we will be able to buy in 70 divided by 250 uh, four turns that seems about right cool Okay, that was a lot to get through. I appreciate your guys' patience. Um, let me know what you think as far as the decision to bulb or not. Um, I wish I had noticed that we could have just bulbed into that cultural... You're going to give me five gold per turn for open borders? I mean... I'm actually thinking about taking it. That five gold per turn would be pretty nice. Okay. I mean, I suppose it would be a good idea not to, just so that any um, missionaries he sends our ways fall to attrition. It is well that wars rifling. There we go. Okay, so back up. Rifling. Rifling. 
rifle. Okay. Beijing has grown. Oh, uh, yeah. Let us... Culture from Musicians Guild would be nice, but we're kind of busy with other stuff. Um, we could work the workshop slot. Oh, and that's science now. I had forgotten about that. Okay. I had forgotten about that. That might mean that working that these instead of hills is a little better in a situation like this. Maybe not so much in that city, but... Um, and it's food, too. Okay, I wasn't thinking about that. Growth in three, still growth in three. I should have done this the moment we got secularism. Oops! Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Growth in three, growth in four. One more turn to shave three turns off the project. I'm okay with that. And then here we've got two we could go for. But this is a hydro plant city, so I'm not comfortable pulling off river tiles just to populate these for the science. Um, we'll wait till we grow more in that city. Okay. Golden Age ends. Ragusa wants Zurk bellied. Uh, losing Grasp on Manila. Losing grasp on Manila, huh? Porcelain Cower constructed for Antwerp. I don't even remember that they needed that, so that's cool. Um, losing Manila would mean the loss of whales. Alright, it says we got double sugar, but I'm guessing that means they're both from city-states. I know we have our own sugar, but it got sold off. Alright, so on to steam power. Yeah, see, the turn timers have righted themselves. Uh, three, five, when is our next scientist? Seven turns. Okay. Seven turns. So... Alright. Cool. And unfortunately, all of our gold's going into military upgrades, so we might actually have to hard build most of the research labs. And that's fine. We're actually doing okay as far as, like, science goes. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, wait. With this one, I actually did want to check out the bay. I just think it's suspicious that they both want to populate there. Mm hmm. One turn until border growth, and it's definitely going to be there. So I'm just going to leave that worker there. We'll rip up the road and go from there. Uh, so if I'm not going to go Inca any further, let's back some units up. Um, let's see here. Do that. At least want to get uh, get them upgraded so that. Hey, what gives? Do I just not have the money? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. Uh, worker. He can go over here. What was this worker doing here? Oh, he's gonna come build some roads or pre-build roads but it's looking like that's not going to be the case. Um, we can still use this great profit to piss off the Incas. Because I don't even think there's a diplomatic penalty for that. And I'm pretty sure they don't succumb to uh, attrition anyways. So there's no loss there. Um, I'm just looking at one, this worker. He could come here, but this guy could come here. Oh, you know what? There's two things going on here. So, farm. That one's not a river, though, so it's not as valuable to us. We'll just wait on him. Okay. Well, this puts us a good amount past the half-hour point. Uh, thank you for being patient through that process. There was a lot going on. Um, I am mean, really glad that we had a simple solu a solution as simple as uh, going the... Uh, city-state route. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.